confused. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be going through my WWE Evolution 2018 predictions. And to be honest with you guys, they could have done a lot better with this pay-per-view. You know, there's a bunch of matches on this card that I'm just like, Jesus Christ, guys, why are we even getting this match? Like, nobody wants to see this match. To uh, to be the first ever women's all-pay-per-view and to be, you know, supposed to be this big, honorable thing, you know, they really dropped the ball on the match card. There's only, like, one or two matches that I'm actually looking forward to. The rest, I'm just like, eh, like, why? I don't, I don't care about this or this is just plain dumb. Um, but uh, anyways, we're going to take you through the card. I'm going to give you all of my predictions for every single match on the thing. So let's go ahead and get started. So our first matchup, guys, is a six women tag team match. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Why in the crap is this happening? Why not have Bailey and Sasha in singles matches versus other great singles matches competitors? And I don't know, like, why not recreate some of their NXT magic? Why another six women tag between Bailey, Sasha, and Natalya taking on the Riot Squad. We've seen this match literally every single week on Monday Night Raw in 2018. I think the Riot Squad have been in a six-man tag, ta uh, six women tag team match on Monday Night Raw every single week in the in the year of 2018. This is ridiculous how many times we've seen this match. Nobody cares about this anymore. Nobody wants to see this. And everybody's burnt out on this. Nobody wants to see it. Like, put Ruby Riot in a freaking singles match. Let her go do her own thing. Have Bailey and Sasha fight in a different singles match. And give these women the respect they deserve. Put them in the, sh in the limelight and let them go to work. Instead, put them in a six-women tag team match every single week that nobody cares about. But anyways... You have these three ladies taking on the Riot Squad, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, and Ruby Riot, and I don't care about this match. I'm going to go with the, the the Riot Squad to win here just because, I don't know, it just I don't, it, it, they're a legit tag team or faction, I guess. That's why I'm going with the Riot Squad. I like Ruby Riot a lot. Um, the rest of them not big fans of, but uh, Sasha Banks, Bayley, Natalya even, and Ruby Riot deserve a lot better than this matchup, but anyways... Riot Squad for the win. Our next matchup is the Women's Battle Royal. And the winner of this Battle Royal will be for a future Women's Championship match. In this matchup, we have a ton of competitors. I think the total is up to 21 now. We have Tamina, Molly Holly, Carmella, Naomi, Alundra Blaze, Michelle McCool, Alicia Fox, Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, Kelly Kelly, Maria Kanellis. Lana, Dana Brooke, Mandy Rose, Shayna Baszler, Ember Moon, Asuka, Zelina Vega, Nia Jax, and I can't even remember the rest to be honest with you, but uh, anyways, we do have four competitors right here, and the only way that I can see this thing ending is with Asuka or Ember Moon picking up the win. That would be the best thing for them. You know, Ember Moon hasn't done jack sh since she got caught up to the main roster, and she deserves so much better than this, so does Asuka. A lot of these women, honestly, deserve better in this Battle Royal, but uh, especially Asuka and Ember Moon, guys. I mean, the, I guess I can see this just because there's nothing else for them to do, but uh, Asuka should still be undefeated champion on SmackDown Live, and uh, Ember Moon should have immediately won the Raw Women's Championship as soon as she came up. She should be feuding with Sasha Banks. She should be feuding with Bayley. We should be having a freaking classics with all of these ladies, but... Uh, you know, they don't like to treat them that way. They like to just stick them in six women tag team matches every single week and water them all down. So uh, I think that Oscar Ember Moon should win this, and it should not go any other way. If it goes any other way, then it's a big waste of time, and nobody should care about it. But Oscar or Ember Moon for the win. Next up, we have a women's tag team match between two of my favorite WWE superstars as women, Trish Stratus and Lita, taking on Alexa Bliss and Mickie James. And uh, I think that the faces are going to win here. I I think Trish and Lita definitely pick up the win here over Alexa and Mickey James. Another situation where I would have loved to seen Trish mix it up with Mickey James or even Trish or Lita versus, uh, you know, a current day superstar like Sasha Banks, Bailey, Ember Moon, Asuka, any of those guys. I would have loved to see mix it up instead of having another tag team match right here. It just really waters it down, and I don't know why they uh, put them together here, but I guess it works. I mean, I'll, I'm still kind of looking forward to this just to see how Lita and Trish Stratus do. You know, they look great in the Royal Rumble last year, so it'll be interesting to see, or not last year, but at the beginning of this year. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how this matchup goes, but I think I'm going to go with Lita and Trish Stratus for the win. Our next matchup, guys, is the finals of the 2018 May Young Classic tournament matchup between Io Shirai and Tony Storm and this matchup should be pretty well done you know the Mae Young Classic has been pretty solid 
solid. I have enjoyed some of those matchups. And Io Shirai, I think, is going to get the win here. I think that uh, she's going to go over. I like her style in the ring a lot. I think that, you know, she flies around nicely. She's got good charisma. Sort of reminds me of Daniel Bryan. And um, I think she gets a bit sloppy sometimes, but I am a, a fan of her work, and I cannot wait to see this matchup with Tony Storm right, uh, right here. I think this will probably be one of the better matchups of the night. And I'm going with Io Shirai to win the Mae Young Classic and go on to the next matchup, which is... A singles match for the NXT UK Women's Championship between Rhea Ripley and Io Shirai. And this matchup should be pretty solid. I'm very excited to see these two go head-to-head -head right here, guys. Rhea Ripley is pretty freaking jacked, and I'm, I'm excited to see her style mix it up with Io Shirai's. I think that should be pretty interesting. Obviously, the winner of the 2018 May Young Classic gets a... UK Championship match with the champion, which is currently Rhea Ripley, so this should be an interesting one. I think I'm going to go with Io Shirai to uh, take the championship off Rhea Ripley, just because, you know, if she went through the whole entire Mae Young Classic, why not give it to her at the end there after she's won the entire tournament? So I think that Io Shirai is going to lead WWE Evolution as NXT UK Women's Champion. Next up, we have an NXT Women's Championship match between Kyrie Sane and Shayna Baszler. This is obviously a rematch from their bout earlier on this year. I love Kyrie Sane. Shayna Baszler, I don't know. I like the authentic look of her. I love the, you know, the legitimacy that she brings to the women's division. She's sort of like a Ronda Rousey, um, but meaner and scarier looking. But uh, Kyrie Sane is amazing. You know, her elbow drop off the top rope is incredible. I cannot wait for this rematch. I think, again, this is going to be one of those that's probably going to steal the show. Probably will be match of the night, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, Kyrie Sane, I think she's going to retain here. I think Shayna Baszler will lose this matchup, and then she will be called up to the main roster, and we'll see where she goes from there. But Kyrie Sane's going to retain here in this uh, NXT Women's Championship match, and it should be a good one. Next up, we have a last women's standing match for the WWE SmackDown Live Women's Championship between my girl Stone Cold Becky Lynch taking on Charlotte Flair. I'm hoping this is match of the night. I know I've said that these other matchups have potential to be match of the night. I hope that this one steals the show. I hope that Becky and Charlotte really give us every single thing that they have in this matchup. You know how many times we've seen this matchup? I've went to SmackDown Live, I think, three times in the past three years or two years. And um, I have seen this matchup every single time that I go. And every time it's great. But I think that in this one, they should give it to us. You know, give it, give us your all. Give us everything they've got. Everything creatively that they have. Leave it all in the ring. You know, we got a big time moment here at WWE Evolution. Why not give us this in a grand scheme and just have this thing go the distance. Have it go forever and make it, make it an instant classic here. I hope to God Becky Lynch wins, guys. They do not need to take the title off of Becky. They do not need to give this thing to Charlotte Flair. Becky must win this matchup. This is a must win for Becky. She should overcome Charlotte again, and um, there's no other way that it should go. Becky Lynch should win this thing and just completely legitimize her and keep her SmackDown Live Women's Champion and have her roll on into Survivor Series versus Ronda Rousey. It should. This is the way it should go. And um, I'm picking Becky Lynch, and I'm, I'm just holding on to that faith. I'm holding on to it and hoping she will pick up the win over Charlotte. But I'm just hoping for an epic clash between these two titans. And for our main event for the Raw Women's Championship, we have this awful matchup right here between Ronda Rousey and Nikki Awful Effin Bella. And good God Almighty, you know Brie Bella is going to be in her corner, so there's going to be some shenanigans here. As far as that goes, there could be, if they don't botch it, there could be some cool near falls. You know, they should have some guys get some investment in this matchup if Brie Bella gets involved and makes it look like Nikki's going to win. But this matchup should be four seconds long, guys. The bell should ring. Ronda Rousey should roundhouse kick Nikki in the face, put her in the armbar, and the match should be over. There, there should, this, should, this should not be happening. This match should not be happening. I'm very genuinely upset about this matchup because there's no legitimacy to Nikki Bella. And um, I think they could have done so many more things. Like, I would literally like to see Ronda Rousey versus anybody else but Alexa Bliss and Nikki Bella. I would literally, I would say, go against anybody. I would rather see Dana Brooke and Ronda Rousey than this matchup. And I think it's really harmful to uh, Ronda Rousey's legitimacy. I think that it will do her no good to uh, even let Nikki Bella get any offense in in this matchup. And I just don't like this at all. I think the better thing would have been 
uh, have Nikki Bella and Brie Bella team up with somebody else and go against the Riot Squad, or Nikki Bella and Brie Bella versus another tag team or something like that. Um, not not Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. I just don't like that at all. I am hands down picking Ronda Rousey, and I'm hands down going with her to retain that championship. Nikki Bella shouldn't even be close to winning it. She should barely get any offense in at all, if if any at all. There's, honestly, if I was booking the matchup, it would be four seconds long, and it would be very disappointing. It would be Goldberg versus Kevin Owens as Bush League as that matchup was. Kevin Owens should never job out to anybody. I don't care how legendary, but but um, I think that Ronda Rousey should win here. Nikki Bella shouldn't be in this matchup, and uh, that's that's it for your WWE Evolution 2018 predictions, guys. Um, looking forward to some of the matches again. Some of the matches are just absolutely terrible. To be the first ever women's uh, women's pay per view, and you're gonna have this main event your show. I don't know. It's just sort of disrespectful to every single other women. You know, Bailey, Sasha, Ember, Charlotte, Becky, every all those. Uh, just putting Nikki, Nikki Bella right here is really just terrible. But. That pretty much does it for my predictions, guys. Are you guys looking forward to the show? Let me know down in the comment section below. You know, if you guys want a full show review, let me know down in there as well. I usually like to review the pay-per-views for you guys. It's really fun. I like to get in there and give you my thoughts on the show. So if you would like for me to review Evolution, guys, let me know down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.